after Counting On was cancelled due to Josh's legal issues. The Duggar family's long-standing television presence abruptly ended. Since then, different family members have pursued diverse paths in the wake of their reality TV fame. While some have embraced their celebrity status by creating independent content, others have opted to step away from the public eye altogether. Let's dive straight into how the family has been faring in recent times. Josh received a significant blow last year after courts ruled out that the disgraced reality television star will serve the remainder of his original prison sentence in jail, which means he will have to continue serving out his sentence until its completion in October 2032. The 36-year-old, who was arrested in April 2021 and later found guilty on charges of receiving and possessing child pornography, was sentenced in May 2022 to 12 and a half years behind bars, along with a $10,000 fine and mandatory enrollment in a sex offense-specific treatment program. Despite his conviction, Josh's lawyers persisted in maintaining his innocence, yet it appears that this defense strategy has been unequivocally rejected. While at FCI Seagoville, Josh is restricted to a maximum of four hours of visitation per month, and there are no provisions for conjugal visits, leading to highly limited interactions with his wife, Anna. In June of the previous year, news surfaced that Anna had moved out of the Duggar family compound, where she and her seven children resided, following a disagreement with her in-laws. Though the exact cause of their dispute remains uncertain, it appears Anna reconciled with Josh's parents shortly afterward. John David and his wife, Abby, reached a significant milestone in their personal lives as they celebrated their fifth anniversary in November. Abby expressed her gratitude to her husband by sharing a loving message alongside a sweet picture of the duo. Thank you for cherishing me every day. I'm so happy to be your wife. Happy five years, my love. To commemorate the occasion, John David and his wife embarked on a lavish Caribbean cruise, exploring destinations such as Cozumel, the Grand Caymans, Jamaica, and the Bahamas, creating lasting memories together. Despite being the oldest Duggar sister, 34-year-old Jana continues to be a subject of fascination among fans as the only sibling not married or courting anyone, while even her much younger siblings are happily settled with multiple children. Her prolonged absence from Instagram over the past two years adds to the intrigue surrounding her personal life and whereabouts. Reports suggest she still lives on the family compound, focusing on taking care of and educating her youngest siblings. In September 2023, Jana's youngest sister, Jill, released her memoir, Counting the Cost, in which she shared the shocking revelation that Jim Bob and Michelle allowed Jana to become one of Gothard's girls while they were growing up. We were new to the inner workings of IBLP, but we knew enough already to understand why it was only Jana who was invited, Jill recalled in the book. Further commenting on IBLP's founder, the disgraced Bill Gothard's fondness for her sister, she added, she was the only elder Duggar girl who was blonde, and everybody knew that Mr. Gothard liked blonde girls. Reflecting back, she acknowledged that what had once been a running joke among her siblings, now in hindsight, appears both strange and potentially unsafe for Jana. Jill is forging ahead with determination, unapologetically sharing her story. In 2023, she appeared in the Prime Video docuseries, Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets, and released the book Counting the Cost, where she discussed the lasting effects of her conservative upbringing and reality TV childhood. In her memoir, Jill provides a comprehensive account of her allegation that her father reportedly tricked her into signing a contract with TLC, requiring her to continue filming for five more years without her consent on the morning of her wedding day, when she was too preoccupied occupied to closely examine the paperwork. This revelation, she says, left her feeling upset, bewildered, and deeply unsettled. Following Jill and her husband Derek's inquiries about compensation, she revealed that her parents gathered all their older children and presented them with a one-time offer of $80,000 to start their lives, despite making $8 million from the show. Jill, who eventually received $175,000, also revealed that repercussions after the private report about her brother's misconduct was made public, saying she felt like dying and couldn't eat or sleep in the ensuing weeks. The former TV star revealed in another interview that her father texted in the family's group chat threatening to cut inheritance to those who spoke out against him or their mother, following the announcement of her memoir, which makes their relationship even more complicated. Huge congratulations are in order for the Seawalds. Only seven months after enduring a heartbreaking miscarriage, Jessa and Ben revealed their fifth pregnancy in September. Just three months later, they happily welcomed their fifth child, a baby boy named George. Sharing their happiness, the former Counting On reality star posted several photos of their newborn on Instagram. Jessa delighted her followers with a sweet video of George marking a milestone at six weeks old. Jolly baby George is six weeks old now, she captioned the post. Where has the time gone? 
Crossing off a major item from her bucket list, Ginger achieved a significant milestone this year by conquering her fear of heights and successfully going rock climbing. In November, the mom of two shared a rare photo on Instagram, offering a glimpse of her youngest daughter Evangeline on the occasion of the little girl's third birthday. Captioning the post with heartfelt gratitude, she wrote, Celebrating our sweet little three-year-old, Evangeline Jo. So thankful for God giving us this little angel to raise. Joseph made history as the first Duggar family member to attend college, spending a year at Crown Bible College in Knoxville, Tennessee, before returning to work in the family construction business. Leading a private life away from public scrutiny alongside his wife Kendra, the couple has maintained a low profile in recent years. Despite their preference for maintaining privacy, it was revealed last year that they have four children, the youngest of whom is a boy named Justice. However, the exact date of his birth remains unclear. Since Josh's arrest, Josiah and his wife Lauren have maintained a highly private lifestyle. Despite their social media hiatus and withdrawal from public view, they expanded their family beyond their first daughter Bella, welcoming two additional children. There's a lot of speculation surrounding the birth of the pair's second child, with many believing it to be a girl named Daisy, possibly born in 2022. Additionally, strong rumors suggest that the couple welcomed another son last year. Although a baby registry hinted at the birth of their first son in May, his name remains undisclosed, and Josiah and Lauren have yet to officially confirm the existence of their second or third child. Josiah and his expanding family are now officially next-door neighbors to his parents, having custom-built a $300,000 home on the expansive family compound in Arkansas. Constructed in 2023, their 2,556-square-foot property in Tonytown boasts three bedrooms, a spacious porch, and hardwood flooring throughout. As reported by the U.S. Sun, valued at $353,300, the home is situated right beside the Duggar family residence, featuring three bathrooms a finished garage, and ample windows for natural light. The home sports a white exterior with a gray roof. Joyanna and her husband Austin welcomed their third child, baby boy Gunner James, last May. However, it appears that Joyanna isn't done expanding their family, as she envisions having one or two more kids. Despite their association with the Duggar family, Joyanna and Austin have made it clear that they were never linked to the controversial religious group, the Institute in Basic Life Principles, and remained steadfast in their decision to shield their children from its fundamentalist teachings. Jed and his wife Katie welcomed their first child together, a son named Truett, in May 2022, followed by their second child, daughter Nora, exactly a year later. The couple shared their birth story on their official YouTube channel, featuring moments leading up to Nora's arrival, including Katie's contractions and glimpses of the birth process. Both Jed and Katie's mothers were present for the delivery. Jeremiah and his wife Hannah are expecting their second child, just 11 months after welcoming their first daughter Brinley. They announced the news with a heartwarming snapshot of Hannah, holding up her sonogram photos to show their daughter Brinley as the little munchkin curiously watches on. Life just keeps getting sweeter, the duo captioned the November post. Although the due date and gender of their second child remain undisclosed, there's speculation that the baby may arrive around March or April. Residing in an RV at present, Jeremiah and Hannah may contemplate relocating to a bigger place to accommodate their their expanding family. After years of working in real estate with his family, Jason now owns Buildmaster Construction in Arkansas, as indicated by his Instagram. Last October, he defied tradition by sharing a photo on Instagram of home-cooked chicken and potatoes. In the traditionally conservative Duggar family, women are typically expected to manage household duties, including cooking for their male relatives. The 23-year-old received praise for challenging gender norms and embracing cooking, a task often deemed as solely a woman's responsibility, especially in their household. Despite many of his siblings openly expressing their discontent with their upbringing and their parents, James remains a proud Duggar and isn't afraid to show it. Nearly two weeks after the release of the docuseries Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets, he took to Instagram to pay tribute to his father, whom he hailed as the best dad. Happy Father's Day to the man who has always been my biggest supporter. The Arkansas native wrote alongside a photo collage with Jim Bob, I'm grateful to call you my dad, and I'm proud to be your child. The 22-year-old further emphasized, regardless of what anyone may say, you're the best dad in the world, he added, which seemed like a thinly veiled jab to a few of his older siblings. Justin and his wife Claire exchanged vows in a Texas ceremony in February 2021, becoming the first in his family to wait for a few years before starting a family, a decision that has earned them praise from fans. Despite speculation, the couple has not made any pregnancy announcements or discussed their plans for parenthood. The young husband and wife duo appears to be cherishing their time together as they celebrate their third anniversary this March. 
Jackson completed Phase 1 at the Alert Academy in May of 2022 as part of his training. According to the family's website, he graduated last year with flying colors, which also commended his inquisitive nature and passion for learning. Jackson most likely received his GED, which is equivalent to a high school degree. Another graduate of the clan last year was Johanna, who was described as a remarkable woman and an excellent student on the family website. As the teenager takes her next steps in life, we do not doubt that her leadership skills and genuine care for others will continue to make a positive impact on those around her. Jennifer is officially a sweet 16. The teenager, who bears an uncanny resemblance to her older sister Joanna, celebrated her 16th birthday last August. We're certain a bright future awaits for one of the youngest Duggar sisters. Like her siblings, Jordan Grace has been homeschooled by her parents throughout her life. The family's matriarch, Michelle, previously elaborated on their homeschooling approach, noting, later when they're finished with their high school education, I'll have them take the GED test. Further adding, it's not required in our state, but I like them to do it because it's good for them to have that certificate. That's their equivalent of finishing their high school education. Despite facing numerous health challenges throughout her life, Josie has proven to be a resilient fighter, overcoming every obstacle in her path. She's currently thriving, enjoying life to the fullest. The 14-year-old also has shown potential for a singing career, already showcasing her talent on the Happy Heart album alongside some of her sisters. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.